Welcome to the Jongets Games teaser for Southern Rails. In this video, I'll be giving you a brief idea of what the game is like to play, and you can learn more about it by checking out the tutorial that was filmed where I teach all of the rules while the game is being played. You can find a link to that tutorial in the description of this video. Now, Southern Rails is a 3-5 to five player game that usually takes about 60 minutes to play, and it is set in the southeastern corner of the United States where there are six different railroad companies vying to be the best at getting big incomes as well as servicing a variety of different cities. Now, each each player is an investor, and at the start of the game and other times throughout it, players will acquire stocks in these different railroad companies. On a player's turn, they are simply going to take one cube from a railroad that they own stock in, and they will extend out the railroad network for that company on the map. Now, at certain points, when 10 cubes of a company are placed out, you will have scorings, and in that moment, six different attributes will be checked for all of the railroads. Each railroad that is strictly the best at those attributes will pay out victory points to the players for the shares that they have in that specific railroad. There is no money at all in this game. You simply acquire shares at specific points and you get points for having shares in companies that are doing better than others. Now, these attributes include having the most track on the board, having the least of those stocks sold, or just having the most of certain kinds of cities serviced out there on the map. And obviously, as multiple players have stock in the same company, they might work together to make that company go better, but this is a fully competitive game, so you want to have the most victory points once the dust has settled. So at its heart, this game is all about trying to pay attention to what each of the railroad companies can do and trying to push the companies that you are better invested in towards achieving those goals, hopefully before those other companies can. And you need to pay attention to the shares that your opponents have because, of course, they could work together against you to sink the potential points you could get by pushing specific companies. So you certainly need to try and cooperate when it makes sense, but realistically, you've got to eke out benefits where you can in this game. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I will be explaining how all of this works in a tutorial video where I teach all of these rules as the game is being played, and you can find a link to that in the description of this video.